<gasps> Dude, look at how pretty I am. See, look at it. See, I'm beautiful. See, I'm beautiful. Yeah, you are. Woo! Look at that. Hi guys, we are back in Chicago. <laughs> I honestly, I, um, I'm so used to the hot weather now. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this weather change, but I have to say the colors are beautiful here. So today you're going to join me and we're actually driving out to DeKalb, Illinois, and we are going to pick up a rescue Congo African Grey that Melissa, my uh, old customer, my now friend, my now customer, Melissa, has entrusted me with. And I, you know, I have to say, guys, thank you for trusting me with your babies. Thank you for trusting me with these rescues. Thank you for trusting me with rehomes. Um, thank you just for trusting me with all of uh, your pets, these rescue animals. It really is humbling. You know, you could choose a a thousand people there's a thousand people who would take an animal in you know in a heartbeat but um, I'm trusted with with these rescues and I, I really do appreciate it um, again uh, we're gonna go pick up a Congo African gray rescue her name is sassy I am going to have Melissa explain her backstory a bit but I'll fill you in as we're driving Sassy actually has a story that I've heard a few times, actually uh, more than a few times, and unfortunately it is a normal circumstance. So, parrots are prehistoric. A lot of customers are actually really surprised when I do tell them that, but parrots are considered prehistoric animals, and that's what gives them the large lifespan. And so having a large lifespan, you grow old with a human, basically. And sometimes if a human or if a person gets a parrot at an older age, 30s, 40s, and you have a parrot that lives until, you know, 70, between 70 and 90 years old, 90 being the best, you know, um, the best possible outcome, then you have a person who takes um, a parrot along for their life journey into old age. And a lot of times the parrot does outlive the person. Um, and so the uh, sassy story is a story that I've actually dealt with before with other customers and other situations where people have come to me for rescues but sassy's previous owner grew old with sassy and unfortunately the family didn't realize that the um, owner of sassy an elderly woman had the onset of dementia and when they finally went to go visit their mother they realized that unfortunately the owner was not feeding her pets so sassy was found um, unfed and she was underweight but don't worry guys she was taken to a vet um, they checked her out she's actually still very healthy they gave her a medication that upped her calories so that she could gain weight she actually didn't want to syringe feed which actually tells me that she was um, she was still very very healthy when when older birds refuse to syringe feed is because they still have the will to eat by themselves and they don't want anything shoved down their throat so that was a very good sign and now sassy has regained her weight so thank you for joining me on this trip and let's go and meet sassy you ready you tired come on Go see what's up with Sass. Yes. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Hello. Hi. Hi. You, you're like, Hi. you're like. 
like oh. getting younger with the years. What's going on? Stop. I love the hair. I love the hair. The last time I saw you, you were brunettes. And not longer. Because they... His girlfriend. Okay. They're like, Mom, we are going out to the car. Goodbye. Uh, did I just pass them? I think Probably. they smiled into the camera. Probably. <laughs> because I think I heard a chuckle. Maybe they knew it was me. <laughs> well, I was, I've been watching videos yeah. with her. Yeah. And they're like, is that her? I'm like, yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's like, she's really pretty. I'm like, she is. Oh, that's like, so really sweet. Like, no, stop, like stop. You know, not at all. <laughs> not you're just like saying that now. No, no, that, no, 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 that's no, no, too no. much. Stop. <laughs> so sassy, here's Sassy. And again, I just want to say on camera, thank you for letting me record. I know this is like this is like nerve-wracking for some people, but you know, we love seeing the birds and and we love talking about the training. And there's Sassy. I don't think she can fly in a Looks like one of her wings might be a little messed up. All right, so let. But she does. She will come out of the cage. Okay. She does like to come out of the cage and kind of like glide if she gets Hi. a little bit of wind in there. Do you mind if I turn on this light? Okay. Nope. Do whatever okay. you need yeah, to do. Yeah, I just want to. There you go. All right. Well, whatever <gasps> you need to do. You're like surprised. There's light. <laughs> Hi, baby. Well, she's a chunker. Yes. You would never knew. That's she, why I was like, she like <laughs> um, lost weight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I said you was a chunker. <laughs> She's like, I don't appreciate that. So if you don't mind, if you can just tell us, um, I don't know if you want to like sit down or let's uh, hang out. If we can just tell the viewers, wherever you want to sit, make yourself comfortable. If you don't mind, thanks. <laughs> um just telling the viewers a little bit about her background. It's just so I can know too. And I know right. you already told me on Facebook, I'm sorry, but for everyone else to hear. So I had gotten a message um, from a friend of mine uh -huh. who knows that I will take in animals that need to be yeah. out of situation. Yeah, isn't it funny how that always happens? It's like yes. one per that someone knows like you have even one bird and they're like, now take 50,000 birds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it happens, yeah. I don't yes. think a lot of people not that they do it on purpose, but I don't think a lot of people realize how much work is involved with the birds. So then, you Even know, the little birds. Exactly. The littlest oh. are the are like the toughest. Like yes. they're the messiest. They poop everywhere. They squirt on the walls. And like then I always I always tell everyone it's like a joke, but it's not. So the bigger birds, yes, they can break bones, right? But it's the smaller birds that their their bite hurts because their beak is smaller and they get yes. that skin. Yeah, point. Yes, yeah. Yes. And you're like, oh, lovebird bites are horrible compared to the macaw bites I've gotten. <laughs> I'll take a cockatoo bite though. Uh huh. Well over a macaw bite. You know what? Um, it's the shape of the beak. It really is. That's what I was The doing. macaws sort of naturally grow out into that little pointy beak. Yes. And the cockatoos, sometimes they do, but they're more, have like um, a more rounded oh. square tip. And I think that's the oh. biggest difference with that. Mm. And they've got that like, almost like a lift underneath their top they do and the, yes. they get you with that oh my god forget yeah. it just stay there <laughs> <laughs> i can't get over how beautiful you look i'm so sorry to interrupt our program here <laughs> you really you really do you like you like dwindled down in age you got younger you Make must be up. happy congratulations on getting married by the way Thank congratulations you. is he here no he's not okay he's not here he's at home dealing uh -huh. with sambuca and uh -huh. my son's here yeah he has their dog yeah daisy so. well he must be making you really happy you look amazing i'm hopefully next time i can meet him <laughs> yes we will anything yes so i'm so sorry i interrupted so um someone got a hold of you they knew you had a bird they're like yes. here's sassy and she's like you know here's kind of i only yeah. think know the situation yeah you know and i told her i said give her my number have her call yeah so she calls and she's like look my mother-in-law mm -hmm. you know, she's having kidney failure and her mind is going um 
Sassy's been depressed. And I've heard that happen like tons of times. I just had that talk with my mom today um, because she was asking me sort of what was happening. She doesn't know a lot about birds, but I told her, I said, you know what? This is not the first time that I I hear the story. It's it's because birds live so long. So this is not the first time that I've heard, you know, someone got a little bit older. You know, they started either getting on the onset of Alzheimer's or dementia, and then they forget to... feed their pets yeah Yeah. and it's not deliberate it's not it's not malicious no no not at all Mm -hmm. not at all Mm -hmm. and we had talked and i asked her i said so is you know she asking any money for the you know to rehome or however Mm -hmm. she wants to look at this and she said no she just wants her to go to a Mm -hmm. good a good person yeah Mm -hmm. and that's how we got a hold of you Mm -hmm. so i ended Mm -hmm. up Posting on Facebook, yeah, that I was going to be getting her. Yeah, and I yes. did. I did. It was so exciting. It was perfect timing because I really did not have the room. Yeah, where I'm at right now. Yeah, but like I told you before, I'm like you. I can't take them in and then just rehome. Yep. Okay, so Melissa was telling me something, and I'm like, I got to record this. So um, she said that the owner was really excited because the African Grey actually has two red feathers on her back. And I, I'm explaining to Melissa that, that those two red feathers are such a controversy because in Congo African Greys, those two red feathers – can actually mean a vitamin deficiency or a liver problem. The deficiency in uh, in, in the vitamins or um, a liver malfunction actually causes the feathers to change color and specifically the red. Now, this is why it's a controversy, and I don't know if you knew this, Melissa, but um, people are now breeding grays so that they have more red feathers on their back, which I already know means that there's a health problem and they're selling them as Red Factor. I and, saw that yeah. today. And they're like upping the price to like 10000 <gasps> like 15000 And they're saying, oh, Red Factor Gray, different color. And um, when I first saw that, I was like, no. Oh those gosh. are unhealthy birds. Those are the birds that are going to be dying at like five years, 10 oh years because wow. of those deficiencies. <laughs> and I always tell everyone the same thing. Like, they, um, I can be wrong, right? Everyone can be wrong. I, you know, this is just from my experience. Experience. This is just from what I know, from what I've researched, and the vets that I've talked to. Um, but unless someone can really like give me a paperwork saying, "Hey, I have an all red Congo and it's healthy, and I did the blood work, and you know this is the vitals, blah blah blah," which nobody has done, then I'll be like, "Okay, yeah, good. Then it's a red factor Congo." But nobody has done that. Everyone's just breeding these Congos that have red feathers. That means that it's an un- unhealthy bird. But you, you know what? Like some? I'm going to try to zoom in on the red here, but I'm not saying this baby is unhealthy because it's really only two feathers. See, guys, it's right there. I can see it, actually. (laughs) It's only two feathers. It could also mean that just in a moment of her life that she had the vitamin deficiency. And actually, Melissa, now that you told me she's egg laying, that makes sense. That could be her vitamin deficiency. And we just need need to give her more protein and calcium, and then um, she'll be good. So when they lay eggs, guys, they actually lose a lot of vitamins and minerals um, with the egg laying. It's like giving birth. When we humans give birth, we, we it depletes our bodies, and it does the same thing for the birds. So um, knowing that, that's probably where the few red feathers came in. Let me see if I can zoom in on that again. Hi. <laughs> she's like she's got such a great smile I know. she's too. like i feel really exposed here <laughs> all of my like flaws and my perfections but everything is really exposed <laughs> and i know us girls don't like that right sass us <laughs> girls do not like that close up not even in the mirror <laughs> I guess her her long version of her name is Sassy Sally. Okay. But we've been, she's been being called Sassy for a little bit now, so I just stuck with Sassy. Okay. How old is she, by the way? That's conflict. Okay. So, um, the grandma's saying about eight, nine, or the mom, sorry, saying she's had her for about eight years, and she was just like an itty-bitty thing when she got her, and then... The son saying no, she was with somebody else for like 20 some years. And the wife was like, well, no, she's not that old. She's only been around this. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, I just I did the, the video, and, and you probably haven't seen it yet, or um, haven't seen it, but it was with, um, I keep on calling him George. Was it George? <laughs> with, um, oh, was it, no, and it wasn't George. What was it, man? What was it? He keeps on calling. Oh, it was, um. No, George. <laughs> that's why. Maybe that's why I got confused. I kept on calling him George over, it's an Italian name. I thought you it's, said his name was George. It's not like, no, but it, then I realized it was, um, I was saying, I said his name, the right, uh, his right name first. And then for some reason in the middle, I changed it to George. Maybe <laughs> it was with, with Vincent's help. It was like Gregorio. Oh. Um, uh, I feel so bad. George Gabriel. is going to be so mad at me. <laughs> Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. <laughs> you yeah, know, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Um, oh, what was my whole point? Uh, what was I about to say now? I, I, compl oh, no, no, no. What was I about to say now? Oh, complete brain fart. Now I forgot. It was something about, uh, when I got sassy. Uh, oh, yes. I was just talking about that be in his video was that Gabriel's video was that unfortunately sometimes when people are like rehoming and rehoming, sometimes people just try to get the bird out of there faster. So sometimes what happens is the bird is older, but then to sell them, people don't want old birds. Unfortunately, it's just like a dog. People don't want old dogs. Yeah. So then they go, oh, the bird's really 15, but then they make the bird three years old. I did see that yeah. video. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, so, so does she have a few know. past owners or is this the only one? Because of the conflict there, yeah. I don't. Okay, I yeah, don't you know. don't. Yeah, no, I totally get it. And I don't expect you to know. Um, so I'm guessing that with the <laughs> age range that you gave me, I'm guessing then we're, we're in an unknown here. But um, I've, so gray is typically um, like a chronic egg layer, which it sounds like she might be. Um, you start hitting the like 10 to the, that's like between 20, 10 and 30 years. Once they hit the 30 year, they can still braid, but it sort of dwindles down. So I'm going to say about if she's chronically egg laying now, I'm going to say maybe between 10 and 15. Mm -hmm. That's because, kind of the feeling yeah. I had, mm -hmm. but like I... Does she have a band? No. Okay. She is not banded. Okay. Do you have a band? <laughs> I'm in your face again. I'm in your face again. You know, but she's super healthy. Like, yes. she she's nothing secreting from her nostrils nope. or eyes. And she's like, of course not, because I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't um, do the eye pins either. No, she not doesn't. Because she's completely comfortable. That yes. tells you how comfortable she is. Um, her feather, she's in perfect condition. No feather picking. Nope. She's very soft. And you know what? Her talons, I said 10, 15, but you know what? Her talons are actually pretty soft. That usually tells me a younger bird, maybe even 10. And she said that yeah. they did clip those while she right was at there. the back. Perfect. I can, you can find them on Amazon. Really? Which I thought was really Because this awesome. actually this looks super exactly vintage. It's like a nyla bone. The, yes. Mm -hmm. I really like this. It gives a lot of air. It does. That's what I really liked about it. Uh -huh. I have to look it up on Amazon to see how much it costs. I really, really like it. $184. What? <laughs> Sorry, I, I got that on video. <laughs> I, I did the research on this because I wanted to make sure I wasn't Wow. I mean, I love it, but then again. <laughs> I don't know for that much. I know, right? I mean, it's, it's airy, but so are the other ones, right? For 20 bucks. Yes, yes, they are, they are. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Is, this one's got the open on either side. It's got the open in the locks on the top, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So if there was an emergency, you could, whatever wow. animal you do have in here, you could easily get yeah. out real quick. Yeah. Which I liked too. And honestly, if you use it for one of your birds, we can we can figure it out. We can like um, ask for a box up front. Or that was my fault. Uh, or you know what? Maybe we could even put a wee wee pad on, on one of the. And one of the crates that that I have so that um, she doesn't step like on any dog stuff. I just I don't like combine I, I don't like combining the birds with the dogs because right. then you you just don't know like what bacteria is gonna affect them and what bacteria is not. Yes. Or maybe I can just take a wipey. But no, this is really neat. This is really neat. Um 
I forgot what I was gonna say again, <laughs> Sass. I, I started this video trying to say something and I completely forgot. Um. We ended up finishing the night with lots of hugs and great goodbyes. Thank you, Melissa, for letting us visit you and record. And thank you to our viewers for joining me and Vincent and meeting Sassy. Stay tuned as we get Sassy acclimated to our farm, our sanctuary, and our aviary. And before I forget, keep it birdie.